The Twin City Model Railroad Museum has a very special exhibit coming up called The Circus Moves by Rail. Here to tell us more about it is Paul Gritzman. Hi, Paul. Hi, Lance. Always fun to have you back. It's my pleasure. Oh, so The Circus Moves by Rail, what's that all about? Well, it started back in the 70s when I went down to uh, near North Freedom. Uh, near the Wisconsin Dells to ride a steam train and I found out that they had a circus museum and so we went over there as a family and and uh, started checking around and I was just amazed how colorful and beautiful it was and they did have train cars so I thought it would fit in with the hobby I already had so mm -hmm. that's how it got started and uh, over the years I found out that there's a lot of people that specifically model circus models and uh, uh, we invited them to come for that event over to Bandana Square. There'll be displays all over the place of different size trains, different details, and uh, be very interesting. It's recreating all the aspects of the circus. Of that circus coming. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when when is this down at um, the Twin City Model Railroad Museum? When is when when are these coming? Uh, the weekend of. Uh, it was October 24th and 25th. Okay. And um, there is there is a little bit of a admission fee, but yes, um, is. this is all volunteers and everything goes back into the displays down there, right? Yeah, the circus event will be part of the uh, regular admission for the museum. Okay. So you'll get to see the whole museum. Uh, both buildings will be open and the circus uh, models be set up at various places and then all over in Bandana Square. Okay. Do you want to talk a little bit about uh, these beautiful, beautiful train cars that you have here? Yeah, the Circus World Museum has a very large collection of circus wagons. Many of them were built before 1900. And uh, each one was unique and they had different names and different sponsors and stuff like that. And I believe it was in the 50s that uh, Schlitz beer from Milwaukee started sponsoring once a year where they would load all these beautiful wagons in the museum and, uh, on the train and then take them to Milwaukee where they had a big parade and uh, so they would reenact all, all that. Now I, I think in the last five or ten years that they've discontinued that because of okay. the expense uh, most of the equipment is so old it doesn't uh, function well anymore but um, this particular wagon here is the last wagon built, and it was built specifically for the Schlitz Brewing Company as the lead uh, wagon in the in the parade. And it was a big ordeal, where they would uh, unload the uh, wagons using horses. There was no tractors or anything like that in them days. And uh, then they would get them off the trains, and then they would take them through town to the circus grounds. And, and kind of that parade through town? Mm -hmm. and, and that got people all interested in it. Uh, prior to the circus coming, they would s send an a advertising car ahead of the train, usually about a week. And they had all the equipment in there to print up the posters, and they'd go around town and oh, put them up really? all over the place. And uh, that would get the people aware that the circus was coming. So then they'd kind of get all stirred up and then when they seen the wagons unloading and going through town they just follow it right down to the circus grounds and what fun it was so now did you make like these cars uh, yeah these here i also made uh... this one here is is a car that's called india because of the elephants that are on there and uh... this one here is egypt uh... these three cars are actually at circus world museum and i've done this good a job as I could. Uh, and then uh, also this one here, I'll set out here, is one that was produced by Ertl Company down in Iowa uh, for Circus World Museum. I think they made about six different ones and sold them, and they're very hard to come by, and I happen to run into, I've got four out of the six. And uh, so that was all painted up fancy. That's actually made out of like porcelain or something. Oh my. So, and this one has, of course, the lion for the Yeah, circus. that one there we have. You got to have fun now and again, you know, to make yeah. sure people are paying attention. 
And so the, uh, some of the wagons would have animals in them, and, and this one happens to be a lion, and he's got his own special name. I don't know if you can read the, yeah. Oh, you can, sure. Tear along the dotted lion, you know. <laughs> at, uh, okay, so that's a circus, and that's two days of all these circus yeah. people showing off their, their circus trains and cars and what have you. So Now this, this here is part of the train will be running down there. Uh, the train usually runs about 25 cars long, so it'll be about 60 feet of all wow. circus wagons and, and to watch the kids' eyes. Uh, we, we have other little wagons uh, that the kids relate to. We got one with Mater on it oh. from the movie Cars. <laughs> okay. And, and uh, it's fun sharing your hobby. Yeah, yeah. And um, the museum down there has this huge display. It, it's, uh, the That's main museum is about 4,000 square feet. Yeah. And then we have uh, in the other building, I don't know if you've been over there, yeah. the, the uh, toy train division, uh, there's an, another four or 5,000 square feet. So uh, the main one um, has the old scale exhibit. Yes. And then the toy trains are in the other one, and that's open um, a more limited amount That's of time. only open on the weekends. Okay. But both fascinating in, in their own right. You also have another um, night trains. Oh yeah, that that uh, that's a special show. This started out simple and it kind of grew. Okay. Um, it, where we uh, a lot of the passenger cars that look like this, they're all lit up in full details inside with passengers, and during the day you can't see anything. Oh, there, there, there we you can go. See them. And and uh, you you don't see it during the day, so we come up with this where at nighttime you could see inside and, and uh, we light up the buildings and the streets. Uh, my brother has actually been working on this Christmas train which is all done with fiber optics. Uh, the locomotives each have 750 holes drilled with a fiber fed through mm -hmm. it. Uh, it keeps keeps them out of trouble too. Yeah, right. <laughs> so. And who doesn't like standing and it's like you're looking in on people at a different age and time, set back in a different... It, it is. It's, it's like uh, back in the old days. Back in the old days. People go through the... get in a streetcar and go through downtown look in all the, all the stores and see all the Christmas Yeah, stores. yeah. Now you're extending this a little bit this year, starting a little earlier, right? Yes, we are. Um, it's uh, on Saturday nights from 6 till 9, and we're going to start the first Saturday in November rather than waiting till Thanksgiving weekend. Yeah. Um, kind of spread the people out a little bit, give them more opportunity. Yeah. It's kind of a... We can, and then we run to the end of February. Yeah. And uh, Well, at, during the, all the dark times, you'll have your, <laughs> the night trains yeah. lit up for us. Now, you're all volunteers down there, right? 100% volunteer operation. It, it's amazing. Well, who doesn't love a train, huh? Is <laughs> Did you ever outgrow from your childhood? I haven't yet. Not you know. yet? <laughs> Actually, I just found a, a train set very similar to my original train set when I was about seven or eight years old, and it was in better shape because we wore ours out. Oh, yeah. So. <laughs> well, you know, we didn't have the electronics to play with, so I remember playing with my brother's train because it was, it was just fun and occupied a lot of time, so... Um, if someone wanted to volunteer, could they just go to the website and... Uh, they could go to the website, or I'd recommend coming down um, Tuesday or Thursday during the day to the Bandana Square uh, display. We're open from 10 till 3 on those days. And uh, just talk to somebody, and, and uh, usually what I do is encourage people to kind of look around and see if there's something that they're interested in, in doing, and they usually are if they take time to come down. Sure. Well, thank you so much for coming in today and bringing these fabulous trains with you. It's my pleasure.